Well, good morning. It's Ron Steen with another edition of Inside St. Paul's, and each week we feature a group within our church. And today we are with the Befriender Ministry, and they meet on the third Tuesday of every month. They are a great ministry within our church. They reach out to people who are suffering from a loss of a loved one, or a divorce, or a loss of job, and they, they care and they listen, and they just do a, a great service to the community and to our church. And we have Lucille Bradley here, and Lucille, tell us a little bit about the, the Befriender Ministry. Well, uh, you seem to know quite a bit about it yourself, and so therefore you uh, said a lot of things that I wanted to say, that we are a caring ministry, the Befriender is a caring ministry, and as you said, we uh, minister to those who have lost, had a loss in their life, or maybe an illness, or uh, maybe a change in residence, and uh, this is part of our ministry. We also meet as you said, once a month, and we have training sessions, and always want new members, so if uh, anyone out there would like to be a part of this group, uh, we have a wonderful group, and we have a wonderful time together, and would like them to join us also. Well, I think it's important that people know that we care, and that they're not alone out there. Yes, and if anyone who is watching this has a need that they would like us to uh, think that maybe we could help them to please contact one of the leadership team and we'd be glad to uh, talk with them. Well, thank you. And, and Gus, I believe you were the founding father and this is, what, about six years ago? I mean, these are all my kids. <laughs> Good. Good. Um, about six years ago, we gathered a leadership team and had training up in the Twin Cities in the middle of the winter, would you believe? Uh, it was an opportunity to get to know the program, understand it. Uh, the training is specifically to train leaders so that when we came back home, we would be able to train other folks. And uh, we're fortunate at the present time, we have 17 trained befrienders. Fifteen of them are active at the present time. We have uh, more folks looking for somebody to befriend them than we have befrienders available to, uh, to do the job of caring that is our ministry. And, and you spend uh, how many hours a month with this individual that you're helping? Um, each befriender uh, has a one-hour visit each week that they spend with their befriendee. And then we come together, as you mentioned, on the third Tuesday of the month in what we call our Making Meaning session. This is a time of continuing an education through case study where we look at our own ministry and understand how uh, we can become better persons, better caregivers, and it is a, a focus also on our spirituality as individuals sharing our faith through caring. I just think that's so great. I really do. And Dana, and when you see these people, you see them in their home, or maybe you go out to lunch, or you talk to them on the telephone? Yes, it's really a combination. Some folks are seen in their home, if that's a comfortable setting. Uh, we've met in restaurants for coffee. Uh, any opportunity that gives us the, the chance to talk privately. Uh, and sometimes we continue through phone visits as well. I think we ought to pick up on his word privately here because part of our training and preparation is confidentiality. Our conversations are one-on-one -on -one and there is total confidentiality so that it gives a person an opportunity to express what they really are feeling as they're going through some sort of a transition. I notice on the table there's a symbol here of a piece of wood. What does that stand for? What's the significance of that symbol? 
we have four major symbols that we place on our table every month when we get together. You notice one of those is the open Bible because we understand that the conversation we have with our befriendee is sacred conversation. That wherever two or three are gathered in the name of Jesus Christ, that Jesus is in that conversation. So for us, our conversations with the befriendee are sacred conversations. We also have the candle, which is the light of uh, the presence of Jesus in the conversations. We have our piece of wood, as you said, uh, that represents for us uh, every tree tells its history with the rings as it grows. And we recognize that we have rings in our lives. We have knots sometimes. We have bark on the outside that protects us or we protect ourselves with our bark, etc. So that we get a chance to look at ourselves and understand where we are and where we're coming and how we can minister. And the cup is there to remind us that before we have a visit, we have to empty our own cup, get our own issues out, so that when we listen, we can listen with full intensity to the person that we are befriending. I want to introduce the other members of our uh, Befriender ministry. We have Donna Davis, we have Billy McLemore, we have Janet Brannon, we have these up, Judy Sager, Joe Hughes, and Sue Keither. We also have several missing tonight, so I'd like to give their names also. And that's Rick Drake, Mike Kennedy, Jeanette Phillips, Carolyn Ricef, Penny Strubig, Steve Cease, and another members, two members of our ministry team uh, are Sandy Wagner and Betty Lewis. This concludes this uh, segment of Inside St. Paul's. Come again next week when we will feature another group within our church. It's time for church.